hey guys you're welcome back to SNS kitchen you're very welcome if today is your first time of coming across my channel a warm welcome to you i want to say a very big thank you for stopping by so on today's episode i am making this mouth watering seafood okra soup this is so delicious like very very delicious okay by me looking at it i know you've gained one pint of blood right <laughs> so guys let's get into the cooking To get started, I introduced my red palm oil into a clean pot and I added my chopped onions. I stirred very well. And next, I'm going to introduce our pepper mix. Here I have three red bell pepper, one habanero pepper and two fresh tomatoes. I blended everything roughly okay so i'm going to introduce that into the pot mix very well and let it fry for at least seven minutes till the tangy taste is gone seven minutes after i checked on it and the oil has floated on top so it's ready to accept ingredients yeah so to this i'm going to add my crayfish my blended crayfish to this i'm going to add my locust beans the yorubas from the western part of nigeria call this iru why the Igbos from the eastern part of Nigeria call this Ogili Bay or Dawa Dawa? They are virtually the same thing. I don't know the exact name the house has called it from the northern part of Nigeria. I don't know. Please leave me a comment down below if you're an also person watching this video. Okay? So guys, I stirred everything together and I'm going to introduce our seasoning cube. Just one seasoning cube. Next, I'm going to be adding our salt. This is a tablespoon of salt. I'm cooking like a large quantity of soup, okay? And guys, this is seafood or cross soup. Remember, seafood is already salty. Please do not add much salt to that, okay? So next, I'll be introducing my stripped catfish fillet. Then followed by my mackerel fish. And lastly, I'm going to introduce my squids rings. So these are the first set of seafood that I'm going to be adding first to start cooking. It takes longer time to cook compared to other seafoods. I'll be cooking this for seven minutes, yeah? So while it's cooking, I'll go ahead and blend my okra i've washed this okra very well and i'm going to be blending half and the other half i have chopped that into big chunks this blended one will help me get a slimy okra soup if you don't want to have a slimy okra soup just chop all your okra this way like in big chunks okay it all depends on what you want Personally, I love slimy okra soup and I love normal okra soup as well. So over here, I have my washed vegetable. I am using fresh ugu for this recipe. If you don't live in Nigeria, please make use of spinach, okay? I live in Germany and I find my way to get these fresh vegetables. Is that not grease? <laughs> So guys, this is my pot after 7 minutes and my kitchen smells amazing. So guys, next I'll be introducing the rest of the seafoods. Over here I have my crabs. I'm using two crabs for this recipe. I've gone ahead to clean that thoroughly like it's thoroughly cleaned. If you're not a lover of crabs, 
please make use of every other seafood yeah so i'm going to introduce that right away so when i'm done doing that i'm going to introduce my shrimps the shrimps is the vein cleaned as well i'll be stirring everything very well cover my pot and let this cook for just two minutes i'll tell you why so this is two minutes after and i'm going to introduce my blended okra guys the reason why you have to cook your shrimps and crab for just two minutes in this recipe is to make sure you don't overcook it yeah so when i added my okra i cooked this extra for three minutes making it five minutes yeah so shrimps and crabs have maximum cooking time of five to eight minutes okay so i'm going to introduce my seasoning powder and i'm going to stir that very well and next i'm going to cover my pot and let it simmer for just two minutes we don't have to overcook our okra as well and two minutes after this is how the soup looks like guys my kitchen smells amazing right now <laughs> so i stirred very well please while stirring make sure the fish doesn't split okay so to this i'm going to introduce my chopped okra and my vegetable if you're using spinach please add at this moment yeah when i'm done introducing the vegetables that's the okra and the ogu leaf i'm going to stir this gently to avoid my fish breaking so i'm not going to be cooking further i am done cooking so we are relying on the heat from this soup to cook the vegetables that's the okra and the ogu leaf i'm not going to be cooking further yeah if you don't like any seafood i used please exclude so finally we are done with this recipe i'm going to dish some into this plate and i'll be enjoying this with my fresh pounded yam you can have this with any swallow of your choice plantain fufu pounded yam cassava fufu and a swallow of your choice okay so guys thank you so much for watching and if you're not subscribed to our channel please kindly hit the red button down there that says subscribe and join the family okay i love you so much until i come your way next time remain blessed bye bye bye